Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. Today you're going to meet my patient who hasn't seen me for six months because he couldn't get out of his bed. So now he's telling me he just fired his doctor. And let's find out why he had to fire his doctor. Let's get right into the video. Okay, we have Walter here. Hi, Walter, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, doctor. <laughs> you sound so formal. Okay, Walter is well. usually a very funny guy, so just be yourself, okay? I am okay. myself. I know. Yeah, you don't have to sing today, okay? I, I know you, you, you love to entertain me. I do. I haven't seen you since November last year. Really? Yeah, it's been six months now. So it's been a while, huh? Where have I been? I don't know. So you tell me. So you're you're telling me about your CPAP issue, right? Yeah. My tell CPAC, me about that. I was uh, I was uh, a number five on the CPAP, mm -hmm. and that was okay when I was a hundred hundred fifty pounds, but mm -hmm. now I'm almost two hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. So I had to have that taken up to uh, thirteen. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, I was falling asleep all day, and they they were going to take my license away from me because of that. Oh, really? You're too tired. Yeah, because I you weren't you weren't getting enough sleep. Enough sleep, and I would have fallen asleep. Wow! You know, so how did you find that out? Um, <clears throat> they found that out because when I was at the Veterans Administration, uh -huh. um, I fell asleep in, in uh, one of their examinations, and the doctor went berserk and uh, told me that uh, you know get out of my office until you can wake up. <clears throat> oh, really? oh, you're falling asleep. Yeah, I was falling oh, wow. asleep. I thought I was having a heart attack or a stroke. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I thought I was having. Wow. Oh. So uh, how long you've had this setting like that? Like, Pardon me? How long did you have this setting too low like that? How long? Uh, since 2013. What? <laughs> it's been a while. 2013. So I you haven't been, slept well in a while then? I haven't slept well in many years. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I I was down to one uh, 150, uh -huh. and at 150, the five would have been okay. But when I went up to uh, 275, uh -huh. 275 right now, <clears throat> uh, the doctor, you know, basically told all the doctors, my cardiologist, my primary, I mean, everybody, <clears throat> even Dr. Kim, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, told me to lose weight, and so my wife is on a on a diet now. I'm on a diet now. You and, diet with her? Yeah, she's on a diet. I can't eat too much of anything. She's not feeding you anything either, huh? She's not, well. She's taking care of me. She says she, she really cares, and I know she loves me. And, yeah, uh, you know, really great like, lady. She's I a know wonderful, her. wonderful woman. Yeah. Uh, how I got her and, and it's been, a miracle been married for 35 years is absolutely positively a miracle because <laughs> yeah. okay. I can't believe it sometimes so what so what what are you what are you what are you what are you not eating that that you were eating before chick-fil-a chick-fil-a well that's that's good stuff what's well, wrong with that it's good stuff but not when they, when you have two sandwiches the fry a big fry and you know, oh, fry all fry. the other stuff that goes with Sweet it, huh? Tea, yeah, every day. Not, you know? Yeah, oh, every yeah, day. Yeah, every day. Is, you're having that every day? Yeah, every day. I oh mean, everybody God. knows me down there. Oh, is that right? Have, oh, you were hanging out there. I don't even have to tell them what, what, what I want to order. Oh, you I just know. walk in and they know what to do. They know exactly. You're a regular. I'm a regular, regular. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> and you're doing that for how long? Many years? Uh, hmm. Probably a couple of years before the pandemic, and uh, as soon as they opened up again, I was right back. You were right there. Yeah. So, wow. Were they closed during pandemic? I don't. I can't remember. To tell you the truth, if they were or weren't. Oh, you just yeah. didn't go. But uh, yeah, they told me you know I couldn't leave the house. That's why I I, uh, I uh, actually did leave the house. I got into my submarine and uh, went under the, under, the, under the earth. No, this is crazy, <laughs> this is crazy talk. I know that, but, you know, I'm crazy. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. you know, but now, now I, I really feel better now because I, but the sleep has changed. Well, but aren't they supposed to calibrate that once in a while or you just didn't, didn't well, go? I thought they were supposed to, but I, you know, they just never did it. And wow. uh, I don't know why, uh, you know, people are, 
People are funny. Doctors are funny too. <laughs> no, seriously, we're all doctors. funny. We're all funny. Some doctors, my uh, my doctor that took care of my uh, my uh, sleep apnea machine, uh -huh. never actually ever said bring it in and we'll count. We count. Oh really? Yeah. So I fired him. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah, so good. As soon as I found out what uh, was wrong with me, I said, "Doctor, I'm sorry, but I'm firing you." <laughs> Why? Because you didn't tell me. And then what happened? Did you did you get a new doctor? To, I have to... a new I have a new doctor now that really does care for me. Oh really? Well, that's I told good. Him of all the rules and regulations about Walter. Right. If he messes up, you know, he's gonna be. Fired. Then you're gonna be fired. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you gotta fire your doctor because. I do, but that's they're Actually, not doing their job or be caring and stuff, right? I've had some good doctors in my lifetime that would uh, go, you know, they would uh, just go listen to me, like if I was having a little difficulty or something like that. And yeah. They tell the nurse out there, you know, uh, I got, I need 15, 20 minutes with Walter. And right. And they would just sit there with me and listen to me and talk to me. And, right. You, you, you need a doctor who listens to you or has time for that because if they don't i know the doctors are busy these days but if you don't you need to fire the doctor sometimes well you know the the thing is i, I i've always been very blessed with, with doctors mm. uh i i have some of my doctors i've been with now for 10 years mm. uh, like my cardiologist and, how long and you been seeing me now you've been seeing me for a while at least five years yeah five years yeah yeah i mean i come with you fired. haven't fired me yet. Well, I, ha I can't fire you. Because I thought you fired me because you haven't shown up. You just, people don't just show up, you know. Oh, you could fire me because I haven't shown up. <laughs> I haven't given up on you yet. In I fact, I just saw your wife the other day, so I, I, I had to I talk know. to her. She says, uh, I said, well, what happened to Walter? What, what's going on with Walter? How come he's not seeing me, right? She goes, oh, I'll get, I'll, I'll get him in. So I knew you were coming in. Well, what I did the other day when I came in to make an appointment, mm -hmm. I've made an appointment with you now. Uh, oh, sorry, you Once a me. month, once a month. I saw that. I want my purple heart. I want a purple heart for I that. Want a, I want my purple heart. Uh -huh. So, bottom line, bottom line is, um, what was I talking about? I, I lose. Purple heart. You I said you want a purple heart, heart for this purple because heart. you. Yeah. You weather through this. And now I have a picture. I have a picture. Exactly. <clears throat> no purple heart. Bye, doctor. <laughs> yeah. Hi, it's me again. You're about halfway into this video. If you've enjoyed this video so far, put the words, fire your doctor in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I really cut it, but I, I, apparently I cut you. I got too excited to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, you know, I, I apologize for that. I called you a couple of times, but I guess they haven't given you the message. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, I called What you. did you say? Can you please call me? I'd like to talk to you. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, I they're, they're, my staff trying to protect me. I know. I know. All uh, doctors are like that. I talked talk, talk to my cardiologist the other day. Uh -huh. uh -huh. A couple, few months ago, when all this was going on, and I told the nurse, I the doctor to call me. Well, what, what for? I can't talk to you about it. Uh, talk mm. to doctor, you know, care about it. And so he, uh, I went in there. Finally, got an appointment with him. Went in there, and I told him, yeah, I went. In. <clears throat> and she, he calls the nurse and he says, "Has Walter called?" He said, "Yeah, like five times." Well, from now on, you put the put the call through to me. I want to talk to him. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> He got a little upset because he knows uh, I suffer uh, from uh, PTSD. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like all my doctors, they know that. Uh, spend a little more time with me. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm perfectly normal. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're laughing. I didn't laugh. <clears throat> you're, laughed. you're the one who just laughed. I didn't well, say I laugh because, uh, I, actually, I know that I'm not perfectly normal. Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> Anyway, now this isn't going uh, viral, is it? Yeah, it could be. If you're if you're being yourself, be funny, then it'll be it could go viral. Okay, all I can tell you, this is FBI, CIA, NSA. Everything I say here is absolutely positively true. True. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Well, so, so far he has been. 
But that's okay. That's okay. I know you guys probably have heard my stories and investigated me by now. And, investigated you? Uh, I'm sure they have. And, uh, don't, don't say any classified information. The only classified information I have is mm. I ordered Dr. Don Kim. <laughs> <laughs> is that classified? That's classified. Oh, yes. no. Not now. Now it's unclassified now. Well, I, well, you know, all I can say is you're going to have a lot of appointments. A lot of what? A appointments. A lot of appointments? Oh, By who? Yeah, everybody will come here. Well, everybody will come here to see me, right? Well, they'll come here just to look at Walter and say to you, and it's so special to you. Am I paranoid? Absolutely. Mm. <clears throat> Who's paranoid? I am. Why? Well, I, I used to be paranoid. I, I, I've learned to be relaxed now. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, I can't change anything. Yeah. I can only change myself. Uh-huh. And, uh... The way I used to be, like, you know, uh, I used to suffer from big time PTSD. Right, right. PTSD, and, uh, uh, Now you're better, right? Yeah, I am better because they finally recognize and gave me my, uh, my 100%. Yeah. yeah. Did you get your Purple Heart for that? I, I, I did something in Vietnam. Right. I was supposed to get a first I, I was hit seven times. Uh -huh. And I was supposed to get a purple heart, but it's not in my record, and the VA won't give you anything that's not in your record. Really? Yeah. You, you, you can't prove it. You won't believe it. They won't believe you. So, um, but... Oh, so you didn't get one? I did get a purple heart, and I did get a brown star because of the operation I did. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but that's okay. You know, I, know I, I know what I did. And, exactly. Uh, pardon me? You have a great heart. Who cares if you get a purple heart, right? Yes, sure. Yeah. But I know you, you told me many times that, you know, the war is a terrible thing, huh? The war just screwed me up. Yeah, the war screwed me up, but I think you came back, came back strong, and then you've done very well with your life, so. Well, you know. it's taken 50 years. 50 years, huh? It took 50 years to get over that, huh? To get over that, and I'm not over it. I mean, I can pull, I it's, can pull it my eyes. It, it's still see, process, yeah. See myself going up river, so. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. still process going on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get the second one down a little bit more here. But I try, I try not to think too much about it. I try to see what I can do with other people and help other people. And, yeah. So I like to talk to people, like, like you know. I know you. I, I know. just stop to talk to people, even if you're waiting for me in the in the room. I'm sorry, Doc, but I haven't talked to anybody. So <laughs> you love to talk. I, love I know. To I know that for a fact. You love to find you're, out. You're Mr. Social. You like to talk to everybody. Mr. Social, social. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's better than Mr. Uh, dangerous. Hmm? <laughs> to what? Mr. Dangerous. Dangerous? No. Well, you're you're a good guy. You yeah. you you like to. There Keep was people a time happy. in my life that people saw me walking down the street that they would walk across the street mm -hmm. to not want to walk be around me, but I'm not like that anymore. No, you're a great guy. Everybody wants to hang out with you, so I'm glad you did. Uh, well, thanks for allowing me to film you today. I know you had a little boo-boo here, but we took care of it. But your nail looks great, okay? What do you mean, boo-boo? Yeah, you had a little, little boo boo there, but it's okay. Looks good now, okay? Yeah, this, this is, you're already getting really sensitive with this. <laughs> now I'm really boo booed with you. Okay, very good. Thank you for allowing us to film you today. I have only one thing to say that my doctor, Dr. Kim, is the best doctor I've ever had for my feet and for my heart and for me. And I love this guy. And I recommend him to anyone that will listen to me. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see, all the doctors are very busy these days and under a lot of stress. So it is hard to find a really good doctor. However, you should really strive to find a great doctor who truly cares for you and listens to you and pay attention to all your health needs. Until then, get educated, be empowered, encourage others today.